Boss is secretly testing me. What should I do? I work as a glorified janitor at a child care facility. On paper, I'm there to watch the kids and make sure everyone is safe every night, but in reality they have the night crew clean up after everyone each night. Recently, I've had management and my supervisor watching me more closely with the cameras at work. I'm constantly being reminded that Manager X is on cameras tonight or hey, don't take too many breaks, I'll be watching cameras tonight. It's gotten to the point that I'm being reminded daily. Tonight, when I came in, I was immediately pulled aside by my supervisor, and he told me that I need to be cleaning better, he's on cameras tonight, etc. It bothered me because he was telling me how to clean things that he's complimented me on before, specifically the bathrooms. I found out why when I checked my work email a bit later on, he hid several pennies around the areas I have to clean, and I only found some of them. So what should I do? Plenty of other childcare facilities that need staff. I'd start applying to those. Your manager sounds like trash even by manager standards. Good luck. A. If you're in a janitorial position you should have zero official responsibility to look after kids, that's not your job and most places require extensive background checks to be given care over kids. I'd understand a teacher occasionally going hey could you make sure nobody leaves the room, I have to step out for a second once in a while but anything official is ridiculous. B. WTF is your manager doing that he has time to play petty mind games with a janitor? Seriously does he think THSDS an indictment of you that he has the spare time to plant coins under the toilets and spy on you from the security office? It speaks really poorly of him that he has nothing better to do with his time than micromanage someone pretty far beneath him on the totem pole. Worst thing here is manager is sat on their arse watching cameras if the cleaning is that important, why don't they help out? If it's a hard floor, everywhere you find a penny super glue it down. If you're able to line up a new job, as I don't worry too much about being fired or quitting, you could have a field day with this kind of management person. Starting with a letter slash mail to your direct supervisor as well as his boss, in respectful CC, stating that you've noticed an uptick in controlling your work, and that you embrace this new focus on, your general job area backslash. Since you want to contribute to the best of your ability, ask for a detailed list of A, what you should do and B, how to do it. Tell them that in lieu of a list, you'd also accept an extended shadowing slash when the job refresher by, your manager backslash. Perhaps float the idea that the manager becomes more hands-on and participates in the team instead of sitting in an office and watching cameras all day. Get them to lead by example. Confront him about it and say it's not okay. Demand he hides $100 bills. Hiding pennies at a daycare is dangerous. Report them to the state governing body for doing this. Then they also can't fire you because it could be considered retaliatory. He hid several pennies around the areas I have to clean. And I only found some of them. Childish behavior. My management was doing similar to me. I got promoted via phone call and told to come in and run shift that night. I was given a quick outline and told good luck before they went home so I just started winging it. Stuck to the outline, but the rest of the stuff I just guessed on and focused on surviving the shift. After a month of being told I'm doing a great job I started coming in to nitpicking and notes about what I'm doing wrong, not doing with no description of how to do it right. So I had enough, came in on my off time, sat in the big boss's office and made her pay attention to me. I got a much more detailed list and phone numbers to call if I have questions. They never answer but I can prove I called before winging it. That worked for a few weeks then it picked back up so I went back into her office and asked her. When I'm getting my two weeks of training and shadowing, she looked like I threatened her with a hammer or something, told me I'd been doing it on my own for two months and didn't need additional training. 
like I got any at all in the first place. So I told her what she has is what she gets until I get trained to do better. It took three weeks of giving this answer every time she nitpicked or sent another manager to nitpick me. And now I'm scheduled for a week of shadowing in January where I will actually be trained how to do my job by someone who knows how. Just tell your boss you are doing as you were trained. If they would like to improve or correct your training you are all for it. But until then they are getting what they have been getting. Start applying for more jobs. I'd bring a pocketful of pennies and start hiding them around his office. When I got the coin thing. By residents who would then complain to managers because they are bored and spiteful. I cleaned the coins and put them back where I found them. Then when it was brought up I told them to smell the coins. They smell of cleaning materials because I knew they were being put there on purpose. So now you can tell whoever complained to stop littering on purpose and to leave me alone. It stopped after that funnily enough. Ass pennies are the only solution. Take a few days and make a big batch of ass pennies. Then what you do is clean really well for a while. Find all the pennies and pick them up. And the next time you see your boss, tell them you found a bunch of pennies while cleaning but give him the ass pennies instead of the ones he left lying around. It's either that or quit. I'd go with the ass pennies. Though. Wait. He's leaving pennies around a daycare? That can be dangerous in a daycare. The kids could swallow them. If this is the case then turn it back on him. That's dangerous. What if a kid swallows them? Never feel bad for a manager. Never trust a manager. Get out before they make up some BS to fire you and have security escort you out like you're a danger. Your supervisor is wasting time and putting children at risk. If they emailed you about the pennies just forward it to the owner and explain that if there was an actual issue it would have been dealt with more appropriately and explain nobody should be on the cameras they shouldn't have access to monitor staff cleaning via CCTV. This sounds like a bored old lady has chosen you to bitch about because she thinks she can clean better. It is juvenile level antics in a situation where safety and professionalism are important. Be assertive and tell your supervisor to wind their neck in and focus on their actual job instead of wasting time. If you aren't cleaning very well then they need to just say that. If you aren't cleaning very well then you need to do better or ask them put it in writing and get a solicitor. Don't let them win. Sounds like it could be constructive dismissal. Ask them to advise you on what specifically it is you need to change or improve in the cleaning process. If they say, just do a more thorough job, then tell them you are happy to improve but need direction as it's a big facility. Add more pennies. Confuse them. Every night you work at even more. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.